I'm Dr. Bird and I provide an elevated perspective for my patients through research in glaucoma. So I'm originally from Anderson, South Carolina and I did 23 years in the military and during that time I was stationed at the Air Force Academy. My wife is German and my kids like outdoor activities and so it was kind of a natural thing for us to come to Colorado and the surrounding states like Utah and such like that give us the activities that we like to do. So when I began my service in the military I was a flight surgeon and that took me to Turkey and a couple of other countries and I saw many different diseases in many different locations and one of the things that fascinated me the most was eye disease and how it's treated all over the world. Uh, I was stationed in Afghanistan which had the worst health care in the world and also in places like Germany which had absolutely top-notch care and as I experienced more of these countries I realized that I wanted to go into ophthalmology because I wanted to be able to help my patients in that way too but I also wanted to be able to go on essentially mission work with the military to help people in underserved countries as well. And certainly that was my experience in Afghanistan. I think what sets me apart from other glaucoma specialists and cataract surgeons is that I really enjoy getting to know my patients very well. Glaucoma is a chronic long-term illness and I enjoy establishing long relationships with my patients to help them through the ups and downs of their conditions. To me, the patient is somebody who's coming to me for care for some reason and that's the care that I like to provide. And to do that, I think, a physician has to listen to the patient, ask them what their needs and desires are, and then help them come to a solution to their problems and also how to manage their diseases or manage the condition by surgical means or whatever is necessary. So when I turned 50, I decided that I needed to do something new and challenging that I'd never done before. And I played various musical instruments over the years, but I never played a double reed instrument. And so the bassoon is a double reed instrument, which makes it extremely difficult to play. And I feel that as we get older, we frequently need to challenge ourselves to keep our minds sharp and that's why I chose to play the bassoon. And it's been a lot of fun, it's been very rewarding. It is a very difficult instrument to play.